song Technicolor, Montaigne. I think the name Technicolor means a sense of maximum maximalism. I'm very much a maximalist, I think. I like everything expansive. I like hyper detail. I like anything hyper. I like the loudest, brightest thing. I feel like the word sort of encompasses all of these things um, and it sort of represents, I think, the nature of the song pretty well. I really wanted to make a song that was fun and still cathartic, but a bit more uplifting, I think. Don't Break Me was quite sombre and sad, which is great. It also offers catharsis, and I think it was really meaningful to a lot of people, but this year, especially after like a whack year, I wanted to do something that felt really like empowering and just, yeah, just fun. I think fun was honestly the most crucial thing for me. My favourite part of the song is probably when it goes into the cha-cha slide moments. Um, yeah, no, I just every time I get to that bit, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I find it very fun, yeah. But I got power, yeah, midnight is the hour, yeah, time to take off your clothes. I feel like as soon as the first demo was done, I was like, this is the song. Um, it sounded pretty much exactly as it does now, then, maybe slightly less um, layered. There were fewer layers and it was slightly less big, but there was still that big note when they that one. Um, but yeah, it was all there. And I just thought, you know, this song is incredibly dynamic. It goes to so many places. It's surprising, it's pop, it's fun. It feels like it has the drama and the bombasticness of Eurovision. So I felt like it was pretty perfect. I wrote Technicolor starting from this phone call that I had with my mom where I just like felt really emotional afterwards and just like crying on my bedroom floor and I picked up my guitar and I just sort of started stream of consciousness writing and that's where that first line I want to be close to my mother comes from and I just wrote those first four lines and then maybe the pre-chorus of like everything is frustrating and all that I was like this is what I have so far I really like it I really like the melody I really like the sentiment but I don't want it to stay in the depression <laughs> like I don't want it to stay in this sort of emo space I was like what if if what if we sort of like step out of what it means to me personally and intimately and precisely and what if I turned it into this sort of grand narrative of like oh maybe it's about someone who feels really um, stuck or limited or dissatisfied with what they have and they're sort of like reflecting on that and they're by themselves in their bedroom and they can't get out of the thoughts but then like their friends like burst through the door and they're like bitch we're going shopping or whatever just like the mean girls equivalent you know what I'm talking about anyway that kind of thing and but instead of going shopping they're like gonna go fight crime <laughs> So in my head, it kind of became about this sort of like queer teen vigilante group who are like superheroes and like have cool outfits and sort of, you know, by daytime sort of go to high school and, you know, slog it. And then by nighttime, they're like, you know, like whip off the the disguise and like go do their thing. There were several things last year that inspired the song. It was kind of everything that happened. Like we had the pandemic, we had everyone self-isolating and lockdowns and all that stuff. And then we also had like the Black Lives Matter movement and everything else that happened, you know, within Australia or around the world in terms of like social justice crises. And what inspired me about the whole thing was that the, was the way people could come together and help each other. So yeah, it was, it very much rose out of that sort of great collective, um, hand-holding that happened metaphorically. I think 
the world and the systems that we currently have set up, they intend to be divisive and for society and for people within that society to be divided. And so I think it is important, especially in art, to like enshrine the idea that, you know, together we are stronger. And that's, you know, only through togetherness can we like overturn terrible laws that oppress people and you know get out on the streets and like use people power and show up in numbers and stuff like that and I think it was really important to like have a fun song that honoured that yeah